Chillers are having some fun tonight, and I'm, you know, the one thing I'm really glad is they were wearing their masks. So that's a big thing that we want to keep seeing people doing because that's the only way we're going to have high school football for a full 16 weeks in this season. But Claudia, I got to ask you, which one of these games that we've reviewed has been your favorite game so far? I've got to say Panhandle Childress. I don't know. I have to remember which camera guy was out there. He did get all the right angles, so maybe that did it for me. But some really awesome plays there. But what about you, Evan? You know, first of all, I got to give it to Christian. He had all the angles in that panhandle game. But my favorite game, I got to go with Dumas because the Demons, I'm looking forward to them trying to go undefeated. But, you know, I just want to see that extra it factor. They've gotten everything they needed to do. Spencer Williams has been electric inside and outside the pocket. They've got the secondary with the linebackers. They've got the cornerbacks. They also have a tremendous wide receiver course, something we thought Dumas might lose after they lost a couple of seniors last year. But before we get to the next game, Claudia, favorite helmet. I got to ask which oh, one's man. your favorite. There's, There's some good designs out some here. Some good ones to choose from, but I've got to go with the bulldog over here. All right, I got to go with River Road. I'm liking the clean purple and white. But here we go. First game we're going to take a look at now. Sanford Fritch taking on Sunray. The Sunray Bobcats hosting the Eagles. Let's see if it's going to be cats or birds taking the win in this one. Bobcats. Ball as the quarterback, Tate DeBoer takes the quarterback sweep all the way to the house. Yes, sir. Give him the seven Keep points going. all the way. Then Bobcats, here we go. Fritch trying Celebrate to respond. Wide out Kobe Cunningham, love the name, takes the end around almost the length of the field for the Eagle touchdown going all the way. He's even losing the cameraman right now. The Eagles with another possession again, though, as Brandon Doty, so naughty, gets the handoff and takes it off to the right side for the Sanford Fritz score through traffic. Oh, look at the celebration, staring down the competition. Sunray will go on to win this one, 42 to 14, a big one. And on to the next one, like always, Mule to Mules at Sundown Roughnecks. It was a defensive showdown in Sundown Mule Shows. Joey Hernandez gets the handoff, but runs into a brick wall of roughnecks tackled for a loss there. Mule Shoe, though, not to be outdone on defense. Carson Holson picks up the drop snap, gets the throw off, but it's picked up by a Mule Shoe. Irvin Torres, Holson gets him back, though, with a tackle to advance. But Sundown finally gets a drive and makes, makes it count. EJ for Hernandez with the handoff. He breaks two tackles, gets the only score of the game late in the second quarter. Roughnecks win this first game of the season, six to nothing. That's a low score, but how yeah. about some of these other scores we're going to take a look at right now? Booker falling to Wheeler, 64 to nothing. And then Bovina taking down Boys Ranch, 36 to 13. Take a look at what else we got. We're going to get Clarendon with a big win over Seymour. Another low scoring game. Farwell taking down Rawl, seven to nothing. And let's see, we also got Memphis, the Cyclones taking down Electra, 30 to 14. Guess the electricity power wasn't with them. Shamrock, they had the luck of the Irish in that one, 28 to 14 over Crosbyton. And then Groover, the young studs taking down Texoma, 40 to 6. Wellington, due to that scheduling conflict because of all the COVID business, did not play this week. But, Claudia, has it moved up to an eight or a nine yet? Or yes. are you still at a seven? No, definitely. We're going to go eight. I'm going to give it one last shot. We're going to get to a 10 by the end of the show. I believe it. She promises she's going to be at a 10. We'll see you after the break.